Kabla minds in my left Kabla ni ngia zoni yangu ya net Shots to the head She said she see danger ahead Hata mimi na ona danger ahead Kuna kesho ni wake up in my bed Shots, shots to the head Hata kama macho ni red Kani samea ni weekend Hata kama si weekend ni weekend Album is 15 tracks, yes. and I wanted to know, um, you know, with apps like TikTok and all of right. these sounds that get cut into 15 second sound right. bites, and that's how they become popular. Yes. It, when you're making music, is that something that you're thinking about? Are you thinking like, okay, is this 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 will be our TikTok song? You right. know, yes, I can yes. see shots yes. being a bit. I mean, exactly. like I'm about to post on my own TikTok <laughs> yeah, on Friday it. night. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. 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 Yes. Um, if you want to do music as a business, you have to be conscious about those things. You have to be aware about the medium people, the mediums people use to interact with your content. You have to understand how they work. You have to understand that if they're going to use your content, you need to provide the best sort of like uh, raw material for them to be able to play around with. And that was important to consider when doing it. Yeah. And uh, so kind of on that same vein. Yeah. Um, is that also like how, how do you feel about the future of music? I right. guess in in Kenya in in particular, um, mm -hmm. and how do you feel about that movement? Are you excited by it and right. and having people like take these snippets to make right. sound bites and Instagram reels right, and TikTok? Right, or right, right. I I think um, the consumer should be free to experiment and use the song as they wish. You know my point as a creator is to provide the best raw material mm -hmm. that when they get they can cut it up you know they can do whatever they want initially i was a bit resistant because i felt like some songs need to be consumed in their entirety mm -hmm. um, but i'm also aware that there's also a lot of people who don't have either the time or um, the opportunity to interact with content at that deep level so i also need to create content that's not going to need a lot of attention necessarily have some of those songs but also Give an, uh, give an opportunity for everybody with different levels of music consciousness and understanding mm -hmm. to be able to still interact and enjoy the music. I mean, that's what um, I was wondering a little bit. If it kind of pigeonholes you as an artist yeah. to then have to make songs two minutes long that people yeah. forget about, yes, you know? Yes. And then you've got these kind of um, iconic tracks that people right. remember for such a long yes, time. Exactly. Yeah. And you have to be wise enough to, to know um, when is the right time to do what and how the vibe is going. Songs that you know, last a while, tend to take a while to make, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. you probably be invested in making sure the lyrics are right so that they can, you know, you can make something that will trend today, but day after tomorrow, no one wants to listen to it because it's so old news, you know. Yeah. Um, but you can make songs that, you know, work on a certain human emotion that's universal, you mm -hmm. know. You miss someone, you know, you can create a soundtrack for that, that anyone around the world can relate when they experience the music, you know. And that needs a bit of taking time to think you choose the right instruments that give out the right emotion and so on and so forth so for me because i'm able to create uh the you know different genres and different vibes i made it conscious to have you know something there for everybody i know that there's some people who whose taste in music will ha have them choose only a certain select number of songs and i think that's okay i think they should have an opportunity to interact with those ones and if others choose something else that's fine but for those who are able to understand the whole body of work that's also fine yeah and i guess yes. that's why you have you know 15 tracks right. so there's a bit of something for everyone yes, yes there's a bit of something for everyone and as, as p individuals who are fans of you and the artists yes. on your tracks what's mm -hmm. the best way we can come through to support you and support right. the industry as a whole right 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 um so for uh, music creators or any other person who's involved in the music culture or just general culture of our society I think we should continue collaborating more, continue exploring the possibilities of what we're able to deliver to the audience because the market is ready and ready to consume local content and sort of like the torch is moving towards you know uh, Africa uh, where we've, we know what comes from Europe we know what comes from America we are very curious about what's coming from Africa, you know. And if creators continue to do that, it will really, really help us. Um, at the same time, um, 
I feel like, how do you say, I feel like if we continue to create a culture where people are, how do you say, where people can be able to understand that there are various ways to interact with the music, for instance, through streaming platforms. For this album, you're not doing any physical copies. We want to direct as much traffic to the digital platforms. That would be the best way to interact with the content in ways that as creators who have put the songs out there able to um, earn a revenue, you mm -hmm. know, through royalties and so on and so forth. So interact with the music as much as possible. Play it as much as possible. Yeah. Share it. If you find a beautiful song, share it with someone. Use the song as a soundtrack for your life in whatever thing that you do. You know, going to a party, let's let's play shots. You know, Absolutely. You, yeah, you miss somebody, send them imagination, you know, See. and so on and so forth. So interact with the music as much as possible. I'm available on all social media platforms as Sedo Kadeni. All so social media platforms, you'll find me there. So best way to support, interact with the music. For okay. the creators, let's continue to collaborate and create even more content. All about seduction, the brand new album. Woo -woo. Yeah. <laughs> that song is a vibe, Naomba. Yeah, yeah Naomba is a vibe. Calligraph yeah, and uh, Calligraph Araboy Trio Mio. Okay, tell me yes, about it. Yes, yes, yes. So um I went to Calligraph, told him I wanted him to feature in my album, and he told me, you know, he's excited about that because he wanted to write something different. So he wanted to write a story. So he wrote the story and then had had a creative block. Hmm. So he told me we have to reschedule this so I can finish the song. And I was like, cool, let's do that. But our schedules just kept on colliding, you know. So I told him, okay, let me holla a trio, see what I can do. So I contacted Trio and told him, yo, I have this song. <laughs> it's a half story. I need you to help me finish it so that it makes sense. But the vibe is, you know, this is it's about this guy who's... Um, uh, distracting himself, you know, with, with drugs and alcohol and all these things. And he's aware that he doesn't like his life, but he's seeking out for help, you know. So he's like, yeah, cool, let's do this, you know. So he did his verse, you know, recorded the verse. And then um, Arrow Boy did the, the chorus. And then now we have the song Naomba. Wow. Yes. Is that common for artists to build on each other like that, kind of in pieces? Um, not, it's not common, but it happens. It happens in circumstances where they're not able to be together in a session, for instance, or you want to work with very many artists and it's not possible to, um, it's not practical, you know, to get all of them in the session at the same time. So people usually ex like to experiment that way, where you start on one thing and then just keep building up, building it up as you go. But it's always easier, faster if you have everybody in studio at the same time. Huh, and then everyone just like flows yeah, with one another. Just flows, yeah, but I didn't get the privilege to do that in any of the songs in this album. All the songs, um, I was in session with the individual artists, so none of them even met, you know, to do the collaborations. Wow. Right. And it's it's so, like, it's smooth, it flows. Yeah, it feels like they're in the session together. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. I mean, you work with such big names, Saudi Soul, right. Heart the Band, Yashinsky. Yes. Did you kind of come into this album having a hit list of guys that you want to work with, or yes, how did it work? Uh, yeah, yeah, initially, I really wanted to work with the people who I already have either had history with or people who already are in the same vibe with me or those who are available because um, this album was a bit time, you know, it was a bit needed, needed to be done in a particular kind of time. So I had a wide range of artists to choose from, but I had to start with the ones who already have history who we can, you know, jump on a track very, very easily. And yeah. you're you're creating this music and uh, kind of leading the right. creative vision. Yes. So how much are you working with these artists to build the story of the songs? Or are you letting them right. just run with it and saying, you, you give the story, you right. give the lyrics? Okay. So for the artists who prefer to have creative freedom, I let them do that. Mm -hmm. For those who needed guidance, I got a songwriter to write the music, then presented the song to them. So they just sang what was already written. Uh, they just told, you know, sing like this, sing these lyrics. That's it. So it depended on the creative process of an artist. Are we going to get any behind the scenes footage of the making yes. of the album? Oh I'm trying God. to get a Netflix special. Oh my God. Yeah. We have such amazing footage from the sessions. You know, none of the sessions happen in a studio. You know, we're doing it in balconies, in, in Airbnbs, you know, it was very dynamic, you know, so there's um, amazing footage. You want to show people the creative process. We want people to also interact with the brand and understand what it's all about being this kind of artist, especially from this region.